Well, February 16th, 2019. Here we are. Uh, the uh, thermal controls program is running fine. Uh, I did some recoding on that. I want to do a, uh, a probably a Python video, well, a video on Python on that coming up shortly. Um, but today, uh, around noontime, uh, the H3 sensor went down. That's about a year and a half old, so that's about right for uh, using them in hot water or near boiling water. Uh, not bad for two bucks for a year and a half. Anyway, uh, I replaced that sensor uh, this evening, uh, this afternoon evening when I got home, and got it straightened out. Got the new address into all the uh, different software programs that drive the Raspberry Pi, and straightened out. And uh, so we're back uh, logging temperatures and uh, controlling uh, the heat pump and all that sort of stuff. Pump is actually on right now. Uh, if you look close, you can see uh, that we're in uh, quote unquote mode one super bank mode, which is basically where we set a 120 limit on the thermal mass number one pot here and uh, we don't uh, we don't go above 120 in here unless the difference in temperature between thermal mass on top of the stove <laughs> all mixed up here and the big thermal mass is greater than 20 degrees or maybe might be 30 something like that anyway if that temperature is different enough then we will pump heat and if uh, if the thermal mass is over 120, this thermal mass here. So uh, anyway, corrected that code, got that all squared away. Uh, this video is really not about that so much as it is about uh, some venting upgrades. Uh, last year, you may recall, or maybe you haven't seen those videos on the channel yet, uh, I installed automatic venting, a passive venting system using two doors, one and two and uh, two linear actuators, 110 volt AC. Uh, they were from a, uh, a, a bed, basically like a hospital bed. Um, I used those because I had them and they were free and I didn't have any money to buy linear actuators at the time. Um, but uh, a friend of mine gave me a gift card to Amazon recently and uh, thanks for that Dave, much appreciated. And so I ordered some linear actuators with that gift card and here they are these are DC linear actuators 12 volt um, I think they do about two or three hundred pounds the other ones are rated at like 700 but the power consumption they were drawing it was like 340 watts when both of these were going to open vents and uh, and plus we had to turn on the inverter and that was a whole coding program pain in the butt and when the inverter had an issue it would trip out and so we're going to eliminate the inverter now that we can do that with DC linear actuators. So anyway, uh, so these are 12 volt. Uh, they have a 200 millimeter stroke or about 8 inches. And they work at about 10 millimeters per second. So once again, we're looking at about a 20 second stroke from uh, fully closed to fully open. And uh, yeah, load capacity of 900 newtons. I forget what that works out to. And a duty cycle of 25%, which they certainly won't exceed. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pull these out, and I'm going to put in the DC ones. Uh, I kind of cob-jobbed the wire for uh, these AC ones together. I'm probably going to pull that out and wire clean wires in. And uh, the other advantage of this is we won't need to be running another relay for the inverter, which I basically, if you haven't seen that video, I took a uh, an APC Backups ES500 um, you know, continuous power power supply for a computer and basically just uh, scrapped it up as an inverter and it's actually running off of the solar power system here in the greenhouse. So uh, just to catch up in case you're not aware, uh, there's a 100 watt panel on the roof. I picked up another 25 watt this fall from a friend of mine. I just haven't gotten around to mounting that yet. Uh, let's see, two power meters, one monitoring power in, one monitoring power consumption so we can tell charge from discharge. Uh, they both log that data and all. They're Bluetooth wireless. I probably will capture them into the Raspberry Pi database at some point, but i got to get together with my friend Aaron and figure out how to actually uh, do that. Anyway, um, my whole point here really was that we're going to free up another relay because we won't need to run the inverter 
and turn the inverter on and off to save power with that relay. So we'll only need two relays, one for the upper vent, one for the lower vent. And you may wonder why I say that, why don't you just put them all on one relay? Uh, you can do that, but the way I have the, uh, the venting system set up, uh, if the temperature gets above a certain temperature outside and, a, and it gets too hot in here, it'll open this top vent and not open the bottom vent for colder weather. Because uh, as we come into uh, March and April here, we get days where it's, say, 40 degrees out, but it's sunny. And we can actually get to 110 or 115 in here really quick if we don't vent. Um, but we don't want to be letting air in that is so cold that it will do damage to our plants, especially when you're using a passive system where all your cold air will be coming in and flowing to the floor while your hot air spills up out the top. And so, uh, so that's why we don't open this vent unless I think I have it set right now for uh, 50 degrees uh, outside. If the outside temperature is greater than 50 degrees and we're still having trouble dumping heat when this vent is open, then we actually come on and we start opening the inlet vent and letting more cool air in. So uh, that's why that's like that. That's why it occupies two relays. Um, I think that explains uh, most of what's going on here. Uh, you've seen the DC linear, actuator, linear actuators. You've seen the old AC linear actuators and the uh, un uninterruptible power supply that was driving it as an inverter. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my figurings and calculations and brain thinkings. And uh, when I get it all set up or, uh, or on the next uh, camera notable point, I will uh, take a shot. So hang in there for about a half a second. All right, here we are. First DC actuator installed. And uh, yeah, so I basically just took the, their brackets because their pin sizes were different and drilled them. And use them as sort of an extension to bring it out. Uh, I did test it. Um, I don't have it wired in yet. I think I'm going to wire them tomorrow because it's getting kind of late. But I did test them with the battery charger actually. And I was able to ro raise and lower this panel uh, without too much trouble. It did struggle to take to start a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Um, and uh, so now I just have to, uh, I got one more bracket to drill. And uh, the other bracket is drilled and bolted and hanging and waiting. And uh, I'm going to finish that up when the, uh, the drill battery charges back up. I'll drill that last hole and uh, mount that. And then tomorrow I'll wire these in. Um, i got to go back in and uh, take a look at a schematic here and think through how I'm going to manage this power. Because I was expecting these to be uh, three three wire so you'd have one for up one for down and a common but uh, I'm gonna have to flip voltage somehow so I have to think about how I do that anyway um, they're installed uh, I think it was drawing about an amp and a half or two amps uh, when I put it up so not bad at all uh, very low wattage consumption uh, let's see even if it's two amps at 12 volts you're talking 24 watts and the old, uh, the old ones were like 170 a piece or something like that. 176, I think they were. So that'll make a huge difference in power consumption for running the vents. And we won't have to worry about the inverter tripping out. All right, I'll do an update in a bit. All right, drill finally recharged. Got back out here. Drilled the other bracket out. Got it installed. Tested this one as well. And uh, I will give you a quick test opening and close. Don't know if you caught that real quick there, but uh about an amp and a half doesn't take much power at all so that's really nice low power consumption all right we'll go back down it's cold out coming back down there you go 
and obviously the other one works likewise. Don't mind me tripping over tools. Uh, I just got to throw the pins in the other one, the inlet vent, and then uh, all the hardware is installed. Uh, like I said, I have to figure out the wiring because uh, hmm, my relays aren't set up for uh, double pull, double throw. So um, we'll have to uh, come up with a creative solution. Anyway, uh, part one is in. Uh, and power consumption is greatly reduced, so that's a good start. Uh, I will make another video covering the wiring and relays, and I might even throw some of the code in there. Alright, for now, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.